And let's talk to Darren Kagan now, too. She's the author of the new book, Hope Possible. And she has a unique perspective on Florence Henderson uh, because I, I find this so interesting, Darren. You went to school with her children. We were just with talking her about her children, children. With Barry, right, yes. with her real children. And you knew her not by Florence Henderson but by Mrs. Bernstein, <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> which people probably think, what? So tell us what it was like. So you heard in the piece, and also Barry Williams mentioned, that she had four kids of her own. I mean, she was a real mom. And when you grow up in Beverly Hills, it's kind of a quirky thing, but you do go to school with a lot of celebrity kids. And honestly, as a general rule, celebrities don't necessarily make the best parents, and sometimes those kids have issues. But I have to tell you, if the Bernstein kids were known for one thing at Beverly High and at um, Hawthorne Elementary School, it was that they were the nicest kids. They were the kids you wanted to bring home, the kids you wanted to have a play date with. Um, she raised really nice, good, solid people. And I was talking about that on my Facebook page today, and a lot of Beverly alums and kids that we went to elementary school with are um, posting memories of her and her kids. Her son Robert was in my grade. Her uh, son Joe was in my brother's grade, a little bit older. Uh, I think we have some of those comments. Greg Sherman mentioned one um, talking about how he just um, loved being with Love being with Robert Bernstein and love being with Carol, um, well, the one that people know is Carol Brady, but basically just that she was the mom that was so kind and so good and um, that we knew as, as Mrs. Bernstein. And, you know, in future years, I had her on when I was here at CNN. I would interview her a couple times and uh, run into her a few times with my own mother, who passed this summer in Los Angeles. And every time she wasn't Carol Brady or Florence Henderson, she was... Robert's mom, who was thrilled to run into another kid who her kids grew up with. So warm and so classy, and um, really hit me and a lot of people who grew up with her kids today. I only have a couple of seconds, but did, did they know, did her kids understand how much the rest of the world loved her? I think so, and if you go look on, on my Facebook page and um, other places around, um, they clearly understood whose son and daughter they were and how iconic and how famous their mother was. But mm -hmm. I think they must have known basically that their mom was beloved as, you know, a PTA mom like a lot of our moms were as well. That is something. Yeah, yeah. Darren Kagan, there, there it is on your Facebook page. I read it earlier as well. Thank you, friend, for coming in. Absolutely. Anything for the team. I <laughs> always appreciate seeing you and hearing your lovely voice. Thank, Thank you, Darren. You. Darren Kagan there for us. And, and the author of Hope Possible, a new book.